Hello again, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Woodpecker's Deep Dive. Today, we're gonna take a closer look at the Spinrite router motor. Woodpecker's is the exclusive United States distributor for Spinrite, and I wanna show you some of the features today that made us decide that this was the right router motor for our router tables. All right, let's get started. One of my favorite features of the Spinrite is the fact that we're not using a router collet on this. This is an ER20 collet. Now this is the same style of collet that is used on our big CNC milling machines out in the shop. Um, and there's a couple of things about this that really make it an excellent feature. Uh, one of them is you'll notice that these collets have more slits in them than a typical router collet. This is a 12 segment collet. This one's the half inch model. And those extra segments mean that it pinches down very, very evenly all the way around. The other thing that is nice about this is the available sizes. Uh, you can get this in literally every size in 16th inch increments and metric. And they all pop into the same collet nut. You just pop that in, push it sideways a little bit, and it pops right out. That's the quarter, there's the half, and I have um, some European router bits that are eight millimeter. A little bit bigger than a quarter, as you can see here. And those eight millimeter bits are really, really nice. And now I'm not limited to which routers I can run them in. I can run them in my spin right as well as my uh, German routers. Uh, let me show you here. We've got a dovetail bit, eight millimeter shank, a lot heavier shank than most uh, dovetail bits, and it just is a perfect fit in that eight millimeter collet. So let's put a router bit in here. We're gonna take that eight millimeter collet out, and I'm gonna get the half inch collet, snap that in, and we'll get that started. And let's put a nice big panel raising bit in there. And this is just a standard procedure, no matter what kind of a collet you're using. When you drop that in, you always want to pick it up just a little bit. There's a, there's a little fillet right here at the end of the machine shank, and you never want that anywhere close to your collet. So we're just going to put that in put just a tiny bit of tension on it, pick it up so that you can see a little bit of the machine shaft and then tighten it up. I like these offset wrenches. It's not a big deal on a woodpecker router table because we'll be able to lift this completely above. But if you're working with any kind of another router table, those offset wrenches that'll reach down inside the opening are really nice. And one thing I really like about the Spinrite router motor is that it is not designed to have a handheld base. It is designed specifically for a router lift. What that means is the body doesn't have any pins on it. If you look at most routers this size, it, they have pins on there that help guide it into the handheld base. Don't have that here because it just isn't meant for that at all. Now what that means is when you go to mount it in a router lift, like Woodpecker's PRL V2, there's nothing to catch or trip or bind or break. All right, it's just a very, very easy fit. And what we wanna do here is locate the switch on the front. We want that to be on the same side as the micro adjust. And we're just gonna drop that on. And then we'll start snugging up the set screws. All right, now let's drop it in the router table and take a look at a couple other features. When we did the product video for the spin right a few months ago, I got an app for my phone that is a decibel meter. We measured a popular three horsepower router at 106 decibels, and then we did the same thing with the spin right, and that was 93 decibels. Now that 13 decibel difference, I kind of did the math in my head, 
and said it was 10%. Well, I found out uh, from some of our viewers who were audio engineers that I was way off. That difference is significantly more. So we're making less than half the sound of the other router on the market. Now, part of being quieter is it's also smoother. It has significantly less runout than other routers of, of the same size. And what that smooth, quiet operation means is you get a cleaner cut. All right, let's take a look. That is a good looking panel. Hey folks, if you're interested in this Spinrite router, there's a link down below that'll take you right to the page on our website. And if you'd like to see the product video on the Spinrite, there's a link right over here that'll take you to the page. Now, if you enjoyed the show, be sure and subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you always know about every one of our videos right when they come out. Thanks so much for watching today. We'll see you next time on Woodpecker's Deep Dive.